Hey viewers, so something kind of happened with the folder that had all my videos in it for the Pathfinder sessions. And well, unfortunately, the end of last session is gone. Just poof, gone. I'm sorry to inform you. So basically, they went to the, some other bars and Leroy Brown won the drinking competition. I, it sucks that you can't see it. I am so sorry. Um, but in this session coming up, we have the dam. They go to the dam up at Skulls Crossing. And this is where we start off. And unfortunately, my window switching program did not work as well as I had hoped. We also had technical difficulties. So bear through this session as it kind of breaks the immersion with the technical difficulties that one of our players had. So things like this happen, unfortunately, when you do have a session running on everything te technology, pretty much. So if you don't want to watch this session, that's fine. It'll probably be about five to six episodes. And anyways, try to enjoy. All right. So shall we begin? I'll take that as a yes. Yep. All right. <laughs> I think it's out. Just... Okay. Get, so get into the mood. All, all right. right. As as you guys are were walking up to Skull's Crossing, it stopped raining. Yay! Um, but as you started climbing the steps, the rain slowly starts to come back. And the western shore, as you're walking up these steps, spanning the great breadth of the gorge is Skull's Crossing. A massive wall of stone holds back the waters of the Storval Deep, but only just. Thousands of skulls have been carved into the dam's face, with five larger ones decorating the middle length. The easternmost of these immense skulls is all but hidden by a steady flow of cascading water pouring through what appears to be a recent break in the dam. For now, the ancient dam seems to be holding its own against the Storval Deep. But unless the, these rains end soon, the recent flood looks to be but a minor precursor to a fantastic disaster. And what is everyone's in, uh, perception scores? All right, viewers. Sorry to interrupt the session like this, but we had a small hiccup um, for the first hour that I was recording. Everyone else's voices were just whispers because I we were we were using Google Hangouts and I clicked one of the settings and it made everyone else's levels go to shit. Apparently, I didn't notice it, but my capture device absolutely did. And so it's like this for about an hour. So I'm just going to skip this hour. They basically go into the dam. They find an Etten. They take care of that. Um, and then they go further up and find a group of very tired ogres and they try to question him and they take care of him. They find out pretty much nothing from the ogres though as they are very, they're not very forthcoming with information. And that's where I will leave you. Al Alex is muted right now for some reason. Unmute yourself, Alex. Sure. Sure. Okay. There we go. Sure. Nine. Nine. Nice. Thank you. All You're right. Lucky I'm made out of spells. <laughs> All right. So there is another set of doors to the north. Um. Why don't you, uh, why don't you see what this is all about, monkey boy? Uh, 
I just put my ear to the door. I really miss Tangle. Right? To the, as I'm putting my ear to the door, I realize I haven't had to do this in a very long time, and I'm missing Tangle just to, in the back of my head. Um, <laughs> so perception check. I know you want to roll that, Matt. All right, perception. You hear nothing but the rain falling right. on the roofs of this stony, stony, weird dam. Okay, I'm going to step back because I've got it's reach, and then I'm just going to kind of reach in, open the door, and try to swing it out. I don't know how it opens. It, it opens inward, <coughs> like oh, towards then. the room. Not the room okay. you're in, but the... All right. Okay. Oh. So I, I swing the door into the room and, and prepare for a fight, ready in action. Piles of rubble dominate this large room. Along with bits of flesh, broken weapons, splashes of blood, and a few dead ochres that have been torn from limb to limb. Wind and rain howl through circular openings to the north that look out over the Storval Deep and puddles of water have collected on the floor. Thick sheets of ropey green fungus grow along the walls here, winding in through the windows and through numerous cracks in the dome ceiling 30 feet above. Behind the fungal vines, the walls are decorated with hundreds of skull-shaped carvings. And you also see trolls! <laughs> oh, do they see me? Yep. Darn. What the hell? I'm thinking right now. I'm like, why? What does Lucretia have anything to do with ogres? Why is that a thing for her? What the hell? These are trolls, man. I know. So we've fi we've encountered three different types of giants so far. I mean, just put some trolls on the map here. Before. And I, uh, I remember, uh, what's his name, um, Jakardos mentioned something about seeing stone giant footprints around here. Yep. Oh, uh, where's a good image for a troll? Eh, that's a good image. Good enough. Except they're large creatures. And... Let me see. And no one speaks giant. No. Okay. They or yell something in a very <coughs> harsh tongue that you probably think's uh, more of a get out. Holy shit. <laughs> All right. Everyone roll initiatives. Have we ever seen trolls before? No. You don't know what they do. You gotcha. don't know anything about them. Good enough for me. <laughs> you know why I ask. <laughs> uh, well, knowledge, nature would change that, I think. It could. Let's see, do I know anything about trolls? Are you trained in nature? Yes, I have knowledge nature trained. Alright. This is my knowledge of nature about trolls. Ooh, I might know something about trolls. Let me see. And here's my initiative. Alright. <laughs> well, that stinks, Did I roll that stinks as an initiative, but I at least I know something about trolls, maybe. Hey. Which, yes, come on. you do. Um, the DC was 15. And you know that their weakness um, really is acid or fire. And their strengths are regeneration unless they are hit by acid or fire. You also know that... So they, I'm going to tell Quadro, punch him with acid or fire. They like cold mountains. They possess incredibly sharp claws and amazing regenerative powers allowing them to recover from nearly any wound. They stand roughly about 14 feet tall, but oh. their hunch postures often make them appear shorter. As they only look like they're around 8 feet tall at the moment, but if they were to stand up completely straight, 
they would be rather tall. We're all good. Sheesh. All right. Uh, Quadro yells out, let's funnel them. Because they don't speak common, so I can say whatever <laughs> the crap I want. All right. So you hope. Well, I mean, they're, they're, I don't speak what they speak. Why would I think they can understand me? So I will uh, say, let's try and funnel them. All right. And that one moves right there. And get something else going on here. A little quiet. There we go. And he'll just try to. They rip those guys apart. Yeah, he'll try to. To uh, claw, claw you. Okay. That's a miss. Are you flat-footed? Why am I flat-footed? I kicked the door open and I'm ready to action. I was ready to enter combat. Like, as soon as they saw you, that's when initiative started. Okay. And they're first right, in initiative. Right. They talked to us! Uh, then, uh, 22 <laughs> They talked to us! More like, they didn't charge after more us, like they, they talked to more us! More like they yelled at you. Okay. Ta-da! <laughs> I mean, technically, though, even if I, I fully knew they were there, but I haven't acted yet, I'm flat-footed for the first yes. round. Yes. Which... I oh. hate that rule so- Oh, that rule really pisses me off. I hate it, too. But, alright, the first but one- It's good hits. for rogues. Yeah. All right. Bullshit. Uh, only six damage. I'm okay with this. <laughs> You're like, I'm okay. And the I'm other okay ones, they <coughs> scramble about and disappear oh, out of your line of sight. All right. Yeah, I, can, I just hear scurrying, but I can't see anything. You hear door opening. Okay. Um, I assume everyone else does too. Yeah. Tell. All right, crawl. You just see a troll. Yeah. And Quadril's ass right in your face. Yeah. Well, you know what? Now now I'm going to use this little power because now this could be fun. Um, I'll throw out the uh, the Battle Rage. I'll touch Quadril. Uh, Quadril, you'll get an extra three damage on all of your attacks. That nice. hits. Sweet. All right. Quadril. All right. Uh, first one's going to be in <coughs> Uh, stunning Fist. Um, I gotta see what my bonus is right now. That misses. The next one's gonna be the Elemental Fist. Acid. Um, that hits. Okay. And then this is just a regular one. Good, and then it's a good I'll, thing you hit on the Acid. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> and then I'll, do, I'll use a key point to get another attack. Alright. And then... Um, it seems to be 18 is their AC. Okay. So... One, two, three, four. And one of those was acid, and add three damage on each attack. Wow. So add 12 damage. Holy shit, you're gonna... I'm large right now, and this is gonna be ugly, 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 ugly for this guy. Like these guys look yeah. like they may have been battle worn, but since they're trolls and have a natural ability to regenerate, their their fighting prowess is at top notch still. Sorry, just second plus twenty four. Eighty nine damage. <laughs> you drop him. Like he's just... like your ass your first fist becomes acid and starts searing his flesh. And then you just do like a Dragon Ball Z fast punch, knee and <laughs> kick, and he just flies over here against this wall and dies. All right, Roxy and Roxas. You see that go down. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Mr. Monk, is it safe to go in? Uh, I mean, yes. I, I can't see anything from where I'm at right now. So I, I would say I'm ready to go in. But you can move past me. I'll, I'll kind of go up against the wall and do his thing if he wants to go in. <coughs> uh, 
Uh, Roxas will careful. go in and have a look. All right. Roxas um, will sneak in over here. see a lot of dead ogres. And... Um... Are these all doors? Like, this is a door, that's a door, this is a yep, door? Yep, yep. Alright, I say the the other orgers I saw ran through doors, but I don't know which ones. Oh, well, don't go yet. You're... Oh, okay. Sorry. I didn't yeah, know we were still in combat. Yeah, yep. good point. So, I... we're not, you're not in combat, but you're in initiative. Sure. Let's say... I, so let's I just, I just yell that, that the other ogre, uh, the other trolls went through doors. Where'd they come from? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Okay. So Roxy and Roxas move in there. Anything else? Hey, it's you, Alex. Alex is here. Alex. Oh, not hearing any from anything from them. Move up here, I suppose. Okay. All right. Um, <coughs> and now it's their turns. Though you don't really know. And this door opens behind you, Coral. All right. Oh, shit. But he's not, he's, he just has an arm through, so you have cover right now. Okay. Um, so, I'll incorporate that into the attack. A 20? No, sir. Miss. And a 10. A miss there as well. All right. And... And then a troll burst into this room, opening this door right here. As you can see into the room now. <coughs> and goes to attack the only thing it can see. <laughs> Roxy gulps. <laughs> and, but this thing, they seem to not All be right. as powerful. So they. You know, it's not that big of a deal. And Coral, it's your turn. Uh, can I hit it from where I'm standing here? Yeah, it will. He has cover from you as well, though. All you, right. You could take a five foot step if you want, and then attack. Yeah, but I'm blocking our our monkey friend. Yeah. You know I what? Can, Quad Quadrille is ten foot reach. You can hit. I've got ten foot. Yeah, and yeah but can he hit? Out. Can he punch over me? Is the question. I've got dragons yeah. so I can move through. You're okay. you're like what four foot something. Yeah, yeah, cool. he can punch over you. Oh, absolutely. I actually forgot something on the shield. Uh, I forgot. I didn't even read on the. Well, I, I did. I just missed it. It was another extra plus two to attack. I was just doing skill yeah. checks. Yeah, it's so. a plus two yeah. luck bonus, yep. which is attack saves and checks. It's a it's a very powerful <laughs> item. Absolutely. You hit. Twice. Feeling. Twice. What? Nice. Yeah. What type of damage is that? Just normal? Just blunt. Yep. Just right. magic. So, uh, yeah, nothing nothing too special, but... Minus. Alright. 23 damage, though. That's good. Quadrule. Alright. I'm gonna... I see what Coral's going for here, so I'm gonna spin around and uh, <coughs> throw my fist into this guy. And uh, I'm going to go with uh, just the first one being the normal one. And then the second one's going to be a, uh, acid elemental. Yep. And then. You hit it? Yep. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yep. No. The last one missed. So uh, that's you, four of them again? You lose the three from me now. That only lasts one round. Okay. Cool. Alright. That's going to look a whole lot like my last damage then. Oh, eight six six. Oh my god! Holy Check shit! Out. Check out those rolls. <laughs> wow! Boom! <laughs> I don't even need that extra twelve. Yeah, you. 
you toss this guy out of the observatory deck. I like it. Clark was pissed, man. Yeah, He's dude, you're just fucking nope. shit up. Um, the <coughs> observation Sorry. deck, by the way, now that you can see it, has three round windows in this room that look out over the southern view from Skull's Crossing. Additional skull carvings decorate the wall, ceiling, and even the floor. Um, <laughs> skulls for everyone. In the middle of the north wall stand massive stone double doors that are smooth surfaces smeared with graffiti written in dry blood that you can't read. Uh, the door's right here. And Roxy and Roxas. Quadruple, quadruples is like one hitting everything right now. So Jesus. the guy that fell off the observium, I mean, that's the dam, right, that we're looking at right now? Yeah. So that troll, like, he was like, no. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> no, he was dead. Yeah, well, he was <laughs> dead as he was falling, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> he would have been no had uh, yeah. his face not been acid -y. Yeah. All right. Alex? Okay. I just can't hear you. You're just not speaking. Or you're just rolling stuff. I gotta take off my glasses. See if I can do this without glasses. Just drive me nuts. Yeah, like my all caps slash not so caps. All right. Um. Twenty-five, twenty-eight, and nineteen hit. <clears throat> God damn it, Alex. 26. There you go. There we go. Now we can hear you. Just not feeling talkative this session, Alex? No, now he's ignoring me again. It's good now. It's not you. There he goes. Alright. Bye, Alex. Oh, man. And Alex is like muted, small. just in case. You, uh... One second, gentlemen. Uh, I... Uh, one second. Okay. One second. Don't worry. We'll okay. Let's tr let's try that again. Two d six. Okay. Well, Four. we can at least hear you now, so that forty-seven damage. That makes us happy. All right, forty-seven damage. And now it's the troll's turn. And this one, you hear the door rattle over here to the far right, and you realize that this troll didn't think this plan through as the uh, door is still locked over here, barred from the inside. <laughs> so. So trolls are also known for their intelligence. Yes. <laughs> and this, this troll over there looks over at the door and just, just kind of sighs and breathes deeply as he attacks. <coughs> oh. 25 probably doesn't hit Roxas anyways. Alex? Yeah, I'm sure it doesn't. Yeah. And then a bite. Alright. They all probably miss. Okay. Why do you hate us? Grammy's talking to him right now. Oh. And, uh, okay. I, I, I don't know. They, yes, doesn't want to play in these devil games. Yeah. <laughs> He doesn't like us anymore. No. Oh. Um, crawl. Sir. It is your turn. All right. Um. You're just following Quadrule, just big bad killing machine this this round. Yeah, but he's a glass cannon. Not uh, anymore. I, not anymore. That belt helped out a little bit. Yeah, he's still getting a lot of hit. You you got yeah. it nailed already. I that's the thing is, Roxas is like bulletproof. Like that's the main thing is he's got a bunch of HP, but you have let to me, get um, AC. Let me drop the uh, cure mod on him, and then I'll. That's not five feet, is it? Uh, let me just walk into here. All right. Let's 
So, 16 back to you there, Zach, and you can... Perfect. <coughs> All right, quadrule. Um, yeah. Right there, move. All right. I'll take the attack. If All right. If I'll do not. the acrobatics check. Oh, the acrobat. Yeah, let me check on that. It is 16. You hit harder than I. I would just say you hit me because... It has to exceed their CMD, I believe. Yeah, I, I'm looking it up right now. I just kind of jump into the room. A giant-ass quadrille just jumps into the room. Let's see acrobatics here. Class cannon? Opponents, it's the opponent's combat maneuver defense. Yeah. Move through a threatened area is opponent's combat maneuver defense, and their combat maneuver defense. Oh, yeah, you, you, it doesn't hit anyways, does it? A twenty. The twenty? No, yeah, it doesn't. I didn't think so. Um. So yeah, go for it. Go ahead and attack. Pop him in the face with a, with a acid fist, because that's what we gotta do. Um. Trying to remember here. Plus one for giant. Well, he takes care of that. 24. Yeah, that's a hit. Is that the elemental? Yeah. 22. Oh! A 1, but that's okay. Alright. You'd almost bring him down, but not quite. <coughs> Roxy and Roxas. I'm gonna get a beer. Alright. Alright. If only Alex could talk. 